All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call this meeting to order. This is the uh, Pigs County Board of Commissioners have called us have a call meeting for the purpose described below at 8.30 on Thursday, July 26, 2018 in Suite 168 Administration Office Building located at 1266 East Church Street. In regard to item 2, a resolution to amend Chapter 6 of the Code of Ordinances to provide for the permitting of distilled spirits by the drink on Sunday on the November ballot. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Landon real quick and let him just give us a review of what uh, what's going on here. First of all, to avoid any confusion, this is there there in the legislature there was something called the brunch bill that was passed, which allowed um, the vendors to sell alcohol on Sunday. I think beginning at 11:30. This is not under that code section, so this would begin at 12:30, which is for y'all. I, I believe what y'all had directed, um, but it's. It is basically a resolution authorizing the change to the ordinance, which would be sale by the drink of beer, wine, and, and liquor on Sundays beginning at 1230, subject to a referendum, which is what the code section says. There's a the confusion. There's been a little bit of confusion over the timeline for when you adopt the resolution. The Title III has one timeline in it for, for when the resolution is adopted, and then Title 20 where, or 25, where the um, special elections are, are or reference, the election superintendent had said that she wanted to issue the call 90 days out. So that's why we went ahead and, and didn't wait until the work session to do it so we could get her legal idea next week. Now this has nothing to do with uh, package sales of liquor no. in the county. Now I can't help it's in the city, in no, the county. No, this is just sell by the drink. Sell by the drink only. And, and you still have that tying in on your, in, in your ordinance about it being in restaurants. Um, that have a certain percentage of their income based on food. So nothing changes there other than the fact that everything's, they still have to re, uh, rely on all. Yeah, and, and that's, I think y'all were doing this in reaction to, in, in, in support of, or, or because of comments made um, by uh, certain owners of restaurants, and you know, that corresponds with how they currently sell. So. All right. Any, any questions or comments? And if this gets passed <clears throat> this morning, then it will be on the ballot for the citizens of Pickens County to vote on, correct? In, in the November election. In the November election. <clears throat> it's not a special call election, it's on the November election for the, for the governor. She'll issue the call as a special election, but it will be on that same day, so there won't be any extra expense for the county. Okay. All right. Any, any further questions from Mr. Landon? I need to move in a second to approve the to get this on the ballot and i need them uh and also under that same move i'd like to have uh, the authority to go ahead and sign this if it's so desired by the other two commissioners so moved okay. all right we have moving a second any further discussion none being all in favor of saying aye. aye none opposed thank you we will go ahead and sign this is this the one i need to sign here mm -hmm. All right, that brings us down to item number three under the adjournment. Y'all have a great weekend. Appreciate y'all coming out. And uh, be safe and it's supposed to be dry, so Roy, you can cut hay this weekend. So uh, thank you very much. Dan, you have your, Mary, you got any questions? I do all take one. I, I, We're out of the meeting, so we, we can answer anything you've got. I, uh, um, I hate to admit that I know so little. Currently, we don't have any alcohol sales in restaurants on Sundays. By the drink. By, By the, the drink. drink. Okay. And the county, not the, the county city, right? City. Other than Foothills, is there any restaurants that that Mexican restaurant, which uh, I thought was outside the gates, and Big Canoe? Okay. She she was here, and then Miss oh. Lucas, and then Miss Lucy. Okay. Uh, Oh, all, all in the big communities. There's, 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 there's nothing over in your district, Jerry. No. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, again, again, it's left up to the citizens to vote on it. It's not a stroke okay. of the pen by us, so they will either vote for yay or nay. And it does not have, like I mentioned earlier, it does not have anything to do with package sales. So if it passes, when will it go into effect? I'm back on January 1st, wouldn't it? Immediately. Well, the same as what they've offered, they've authorized 
Bridge or not a drive to or, or make the change to the ordinances subject to the referendum. We probably won't start that until the referendum. So, and then we'll probably come back to them maybe in the November, um, either the work session or the, or the regular meeting with, the, with that version of it for them to. I'd like for them to see that before it's actually starting to be enforced. Okay. Any further questions? I'm good. Well, I have one more. So why do you all not want to consider the brunch bill, which I know this is a huge thing, first of all, but... The brunch You know, the brunch bill he was talking about, where they can serve it earlier on Sundays. We've, well, it's been locked in over the years that, that anything done to this on Sunday would be after 1230. Okay. I'd like, to, I'd like to stay with that. Uh, at least keep some essence to the to the Sunday law. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, if this passes, it's going to be right in the time frame when I renew licenses. So will there be any increase in fees if it passes? It would be a separate license. Okay. No, a separate license? No, it wouldn't no, be a separate license. No, it wouldn't. It would just be the regular form. Would there, be, would there be an increase for the license if this goes into effect? I hadn't thought about that part of it. Because it's all, it's all going to fall in that same time frame because I have to, I'll have to have everything by November 15th to renew all these licenses. So. Well, you don't really know. That's going to get. It's going to be real. It's going to be. A problem. <laughs> Well, if it, I mean, if I I heard always, get her work well, I can always call it, I could, no, you don't know. I'll, I'll do this as normal, but that was my question because they are going to be, if they are allowed to serve on Sundays, is well, it going to increase the let me Let me help from this point. If, if the citizens vote to approve this, mm -hmm. then <clears throat> as far as the commissioners go, we could probably review it in a work session, and then it doesn't have to go back for a vote again. No, not to make your fee schedule. Mm -hmm. You can do that. So it should be, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to read the license just to make sure that it doesn't have anything in there that says anything that it says the, anything about prohibiting the sales. The beer and wine board. board will still see. It's going to be attached on the beer and wine board scenario. That's what is what we do for for beer and wine sales. Right. So it'll be attached to that, and they will still be under the same obligations as selling beer and wine uh, after 12:30 on Sunday. So that way, everything will stay stay the same as we go forward and they'd have to live up to the same is it 50 50 or 75 25 i can't remember how between the food and the and the liquor but uh, yeah so they still have to if their alcohol sales go up because of because of this then then their food sales better go up or they could get penalized okay that lose you no, I just don't understand why there would even be a fee, extra fee, just because you're adding Sunday. There's not. I don't think there's going to be an extra fee. I don't <laughs> think. I think it was planned in. But what what it boils down to is, there, see, it's fifty percent now. You got to sell if you're going to sell fifty percent of beer and wine on Sunday. No, I know that. I meant why I would have an increase in the license. If I mean, there shouldn't be an increase in the license, in my opinion. I don't know. Because they're already got a license, right? Well, you buy a bottle. <laughs> Yeah, but they're serving alcohol on Monday through Saturday, so why add Sunday are y'all going to make them pay more? It's still the same license. I guess that's what I'm not understanding. Yeah. I know you aren't there, but yeah, but it didn't make sense to me. But again, I had coffee this morning, so I'll go back later and go, well, that was a stupid question. So. Uh, well, we'll call it the Mary, the Mary Lipsy Exchange. She had recommended that we raise the price. No, I recommend that you do not raise anybody's fees. <laughs> And I am still recording every minute of this. <laughs> uh -oh. any, further, any further questions or comments? Just, is there a totally other subject? Would you take one on that? I don't. I can't. I can't help what the city council does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is there an issue with some of your historical books over at the convent camp? Hmm? Are you preserving them? Getting rid of stuff? We're preserved. We saved. You remember back, and I'll be real quick on this, back when uh, when I come on board in 05, I went over to the federal building, and there was a mound of paperwork, books, and everything. I mean, actually a mound. And I had an individual at that time that was working as a community service, went in there and tried his best, and did a very good job going through all that stuff over the common camp to see, be sure we didn't have any salvageable documents over there. When it come down to it, 
only thing we had was uh, uh, PO numbers, requisitions, uh, sales slips from having vehicles worked on back in the 60s and 70s. We did come across some tax digests that we saved. Tucker, I think, went over there and, and got some of them, and then we had, uh, had somebody else went over and picked out all the tax digests best we could to go ahead and save those. And I think you got them stored downstairs after what we could find. Yeah, some of the really old historic ones, like from the 30s and 40s. Yeah, so we, we saved all them downstairs. Now, what you got to remember, as this stuff was saved previous to my administration, that big pile over at the federal building, and I know she's recording, but I'm going to say it anyway. It had, it had rat droppings, rat feces, all, all, all the stuff involved in all this paperwork. So this gentleman did go through and did the best he could to salvage what we could before it went to disarray. Some of that paperwork that you're asking about is in the basement of the new courthouse. That was taken to uh, one of the companies here in town that cleaned it up when we did the courthouse. And it's, it's enveloped in plastic for, for pos posterity. The, um, uh, some of the tax digests are saved in town. But most of that stuff that's over there is old uh, receipts, stuff, and we have got a policy at Pickens County for record retention that goes back, some of it we have to say for 15 years. That has elapsed, and I'm, I'm trying to clean, not throw anything away that's valuable, but trying to clean the buildings up where I've got room to storage because I get calls from, from Roy, from, from everybody else, around, you know, they need to put this here, they need to put this there. I'm out of space, and I, I don't think the public wants me to go ahead and buy another building and then here we got all this junk over there, for lack of a better story. So yeah, to that point we are, but we are saving what we can, and we have done our due diligence in trying to preserve some of the old documents here at Pickens County. Granted, Roy and, and, and Darren, that's supposed to be putting a lot of this stuff on microfish as well as clerk, clerk of court. Whether that's happening would be a good question for the, for the um, uh, newspapers and all, maybe to ask those questions to those officials. But, but other than that, over there. Yeah. Well, I've got some pictures of the biggest concerns that we've got, and these are the digest books mm -hmm. that are on the shelves over there. That's right. And what we learned this week that the plan was to shred all these up. That's correct. And the tax commissioner, which I think is the custodian of those records, didn't know anything about it. Well, we've been talking about this for 15 years. He and, did and, not know. I can't help that. I've been, we've been talking about it. I mean, you've talked about it. I mean, Sharon Trogdon talked about it for 15 years. He was involved in the record retention policy on top of that also. So we have went over and saved the documents to what we needed to save. The rest of it are gone. Are these uh, in the building over there? Yeah, no. the old Convict Camp yes. building. They've been, a lot of them's water damaged, a lot of them's got rat feet. You're welcome to go through them, but a lot of them's nasty. And we act, those pictures were taken yesterday. Mm -hmm. Darren went over there, one of my staff members went over there also, because what we found out, <coughs> we went over to look at some to do some historical research, and my staff member came back and said, well, they're fixing to grind all those up. I said, no, they're probably talking about the other stuff. He said, I don't think so, and I went, Robert wasn't here, talked to Philip Dean, Philip said, yeah, we're going to grind those up. And I went and let Darren know, because he's the tax commissioner, that I believe is the custodian of those records. And so he's now communicating with y'all, trying to see if, hey, uh, we might need to do something different. Because our county, as you look around this here, wall. On the front over here, there's plastic tubs full of POs uh, over the road department. Department, from the road department, stuff like that. Some of these here, we've done save the old books, the big, huge books. We've put all, we've saved all of them. Some of the stuff here, some tax digest, some of it isn't. Uh, we started going through that. Some of them's personnel records dates back. Some of them are, are legal files from the sheriff's department back in the 30s and 40s. Has got people's social security numbers and all in there. Uh, unacceptable to that point. Uh, would you want to make a comment? I was going to tell Dan you may you might want to talk to Jennifer Jordan, the clerk. Yeah. She's done she's done an excellent job with an arc of an archival company as far as taking some of the old deeds and the old plans. Roy, what's the significance of the stuff they're about to grind? Is it being... These are the old historical record of the tax digest. I'm kind of like a dinosaur. I've been around here 27 years, so I know what's happened since I've been here. But there's things that happened before the tax commissioners you've got now, before the people here, and it's the historical records of accounts your family plays prominently in there. 
between the edges and the pools and we're always having to do research for the companies and property ownership. This is the historical record. These are the Since that being said, how many times have you been in there to look up, other than the last two days to take pictures? When was the last time you were actually over there at the 50, in the 15 years it to look depends. up records? It depends. It we depends. have actually gone back to historical records quite a bit. One of the issues that we've had... Well, now, why did it stay in such a big pile of nastiness over there for so because, long? Because the governing authority... When the tax officers moved around, I'm talking for the tax commissioner's office. They probably weren't given enough room for where they were, so the governing authority took these records and put them somewhere else. Okay, so it's out of their jurisdiction and they can't handle it. That's probably what caused this issue to start with. No issue for me. I went through it, took my due diligence, so I'm not concerned the records, but yet I'm having to go with all respect. Myself. You're not the tax commissioner. That's These correct. are his records. So, and I, and I don't want to see history destroyed. As much as this county tries to preserve history, I don't want one person that I don't know. Maybe you've got the purview over his records. I'm, okay, I don't, I don't know. know. If I do. I've got. But I think it needs to be examined policy. before they're destroyed. Because if they're destroyed. They're gone. And again, Dan, you're more than welcome to go over and take pictures of it, but if you want to look, there's tubs down there that's got POs. I'll be glad to load all these up and bring them over to Darren's office and put them right in front of his desk. Is there somewhere you can store them? No. Yeah, they, there's not the, the, I didn't even know what half this stuff was for years till I started going through it 15 years ago. And then, of course, when you do, you got to change clothes. But, uh, but it, is, it is some bad stuff over there. And to what point, I don't know. If we've accumulated this stuff over the years, uh, and like I said, the majority of the records, if not all, that come out of the courthouse when I was doing the courthouse has been taken to one of the companies here, and all that's been refurbished, and it's, in, it's enveloped in plastic and secured uh, documentation over in the basement of the new courthouse on the bottom floor in, in Jennifer's uh, historical file area downstairs. This stuff here, we'll be glad to let you go over there and look at it if you all want to take pictures. Um, it's up to you. Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of a question than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, what all depends where it comes from. The, uh, uh, but yeah, um, and my question back, see if I do this, like some people are suggesting, uh, I would probably put a check-in list, and then I'll probably check it once a year, see exactly how many times you're going to check historical files. I don't have, and I don't think the taxpayers here have the want to have to start another complete budget line item, on uh, in, in getting a warehouse, a, con a controlled climate warehouse, or buy a building uh, to put these documents in. That I don't know if there's any liability. Not liability is the wrong term. I don't know if there's any use for holding this stuff for that for a certain period of time. And I think the critical thing, Robert. All this hit this week and from what the tax commissioner told me yesterday he's been ordered to go get them right now or they're fixing to get ground up and, and i'll say it again i'll say it again mr dobbs i have been working on this for 15 years i have approached everybody here 15 years we had started talking about shredding records four months ago uh i can't help it if he can't get involved in what's going on and but he has been notified if you'll read your email from yesterday i read it he made a suggestion. He did. The area is not that big that it will take. He has suggested finding a place here and the facility here so that he'll have control of those records. I think it's a good suggestion. My concern is if you just leap off the bridge and do this, that might be the wrong thing. I would love to There's see no it. There's no leaping off no bridge. This stuff has been gone through. It's not gone. It was moved to another facility. Third time. It still exists today. It was in, if you remember, it was in the courthouse annex before it wound up over. And the our offices keep getting moved to different places for changes. And I just think the governing authority, and y'all can vote on it, needs to create a place for the retention of those records. That's my opinion. Y'all may have the authority to destroy another elected official record. I don't know. I just think it needs to be looked at. Um, did we need this space? Leaving it here, your reason is it was messy, it was dirty, it was... The, t the top floor of the old combat camp has is, is got a weight load capacity on it. 
and uh, the floor is slowly sinking. Um, we're trying to get it beefed back up as we go, and when we start going through it, we come across these documents here about six years ago that I had forgot about that we had re refiled 15 years ago to clean the mess up. So we went back. We have got a record retention policy for Pickens County that goes anywhere from seven, five to seven to 15 years on how long we have to keep records. Uh, don't know if, there again, to Roy's point, I don't know if Darren's got a record retention policy. But normally, if a county does one, everybody abides by that policy. So when will they actually get ready if this goes forward? Today. Today. And Darren is in agreement or have... I don't know what Darren's into. He, he, everybody, Sharon probably knew about this when she was here. Uh, Roy knows about it. We've had these records for 15 years. They've been over the federal building where, where a lot of these people were been at the store back when we had the federal building. Then they were dumped in a big pile, looked like a pyramid. And, uh, and that's when the uh, uh, rats and the mice and all the other varmints got involved in it. It was then loaded up and hauled over to the convict camp, henceforth dumped again in another big pile. And when I come on in 05, I was able to get a community service worker, and he worked nearly six months going through all that and getting it organized to some shape, form, or fashion. The, uh, the tubs there that he's not showing you are, uh, uh, is a disaster, and that's where all the POs and all that stuff is at over there. And I'll be glad, I'll be glad to, to let us grind what we know is there and stop the process on there and let Mr. Darren and, and Roy come up with a plan on where they want to put this stuff at. Henceforth, it's going to cost dollars that that I don't know. Do we? Are we here? I just don't know. I'm just going by the record detention policy that I've got in, that we've got in place. Does Darren have any designated space that he could have somebody to? The basement of the courthouse was set up for archival of county documents. Now that's something he has to work out with the other elected official at the courthouse. Maybe we give him a little time to do that? I can do that. Y'all so desire. I think, I think that we need to. Yeah. But they have got, they have got, and see over there would be a climate control unit. This yeah. is not climate control. Yeah. Maybe we give him a couple But all the, all the POs and stuff that you said was in the floor, none of that's Records of you don't see that on this, you don't see that on these pictures here, okay. and that's not Darren's contention nor mine as another official. He's the tax commissioner. We could care less about the POs. It's just the tax digest books. Right. Anything else, Dan? Oh, that was more than I expected. I can't wait. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait till I get, get with you later and I'll get you to follow up on some things and we're bringing things out. So we'll, we'll proceed with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is now adjourned. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.